Good morning, dear students. Welcome to Digital Learning. Today, we shall discuss about Chapter 2, Classification and Tabulation of the subject Paper 1, Quantitative Analysis 1 of BCom program. In today's session, let us discuss about the topic Problems on Classification and Tabulation. In the previous sessions, we have discussed the theoretical aspects. So now, let us get into the problems on this topic. Dear students, uh, till now we have discussed all the theoretical concepts about classification and tabulation. Now let us look into how to prepare a frequency distribution on the basis of classification and tabulation. So here, let us look into the first problem which says, following are the records of babies in a nursing home in Bangalore during a week. B denoting boy and G denoting girl. So G denotes a girl baby and B denotes a boy baby. In the nursing home they given the details of the boys and girls births which is as follows. And they request us to, you are required to construct a frequency distribution according to gender. So the characteristics here on the basis of which we are going to classify is the gender. So now let us classify this into a simple table. The solution says, in order to construct a frequency distribution of babies in accordance with their gender. See, there's, we are speaking only about one characteristic which is called as gender. Hence, the table which we form can also be called as a one-way table or a simple table. Therefore, we count the number of male births and that of female births present and present this information in the following table. So, let us now count the total number of boys and total number of Girls. Now when we look into the question, total number of boys are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 and 16. So total number of boys here it is. 16. Similarly, let us find out the total number of girl babies born in this nursing home. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So, total number of girl babies born in the nursing home is 14. So 16 plus 14 together there are 30 babies born in this nursing home. So this is how this entire paragraph which you can see here is presented in a simple table of 2 to 3 to 4 lines. So this is the category which indicates the gender of the children born boy girl and this is the number of births in that nursing home during a particular week. So this is how a complex data like this can be simply presented in the form of a table. Okay, dear students, in this problem we have seen that the classification of the table is done on uh, the basis of only gender, which means there is only one characteristic which we have been talking about. So since this table represents only one characteristic, this can be, this table can be called as a simple table. Further, second point to be noted is that this is an individual series. Why it is an individual series is because we are talking only about one particular characteristic and that is a fixed number and therefore, it will be called as an individual series. 
in the next pro in the next problem let us discuss about discrete series and further in the third question we will discuss about continuous series now coming to second question the question says a review of the first 30 pages of a statistics book reveals the following printing mistakes andre en artha on the statistics book ide statistics book alli kelu on the printing mistakes ide hagagi statistics na modalane 30 page avaru review madadaga avarge selu kelu on the printing mistakes ide so they are requesting you to make a frequency distribution of the printing mistakes so neeve en madbekappa andre illi ಎಷ್ಟು ಪೇಜಸ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಎಷ್ಟು ಪ್ರಿಂಟಿಂಗ್ ಮಿಸ್ಟೇಕ್ಸ್ ಇದೆ ಅಂತ ಕಂಡುಹಿಡಿಬೇಕು ಸೊ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಅವ್ರು ನಮಗೆ ಮಾಹಿತಿ ಕೊಟ್ಟಿದ್ದಾರೆ ನಂಬರ್ ಆಫ್ ಪ್ರಿಂಟಿಂಗ್ ಮಿಸ್ಟೇಕ್ಸ್ ಝೀರೋ ಒನ್ ತ್ರೀ ಟೂ ಫೈವ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಅಂತ ಈ ಥರ ನಂಬರ್ ಕೊಟ್ಟಿದ್ರಲ್ಲಿ ಇಟ್ ಗೋಸ್ ಆನ್ ಅಪ್ ಟು ಫೋರ್ ದ ಲೋಯೆಸ್ಟ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಆಫ್ ಮಿಸ್ಟೇಕ್ಸ್ ಝೀರೋ ಅಂದರೆ ಯಾವುದೇ ರೀತಿ ಮಿಸ್ಟೇಕ್ ಇಲ್ಲ ಅಂತ ಮತ್ತು ಹೈಯೆಸ್ಟ್ ನಂಬರ್ ತೊಗೊಂಡ್ರೆ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಈ ಡೇಟಾ ಗಿವನ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಹೈಯೆಸ್ಟ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಇಸ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಅಂದರೆ ಇದರ ಅರ್ಥ ಏನಪ್ಪ ಅಂದರೆ ಒಂದು ಪೇಜಲ್ಲಿ ಝೀರೋ ಮಿಸ್ಟೇಕ್ಸ್ ಇರ್ಬೋದು ಮತ್ತೊಂದು ಪೇಜಲ್ಲಿ ಒನ್ ಮಿಸ್ಟೇಕ್ ಇರ್ಬೋದು ಇನ್ ಕೆಲವು ಪೇಜಸ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ತ್ರೀ ಮಿಸ್ಟೇಕ್ಸ್ ಇರ್ಬೋದು ಕೆಲವು ಪೇಜಸ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಫೋರ್ ಮಿಸ್ಟೇಕ್ಸ್ ಅದೇ ರೀತಿ ಫೈವ್ ಮಿಸ್ಟೇಕ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಮ್ಯಾಕ್ಸಿಮಮ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಮಿಸ್ಟೇಕ್ಸ್ ವರೆಗೂ ಹೋಗ್ಬೋದು ಸೊ ಈಗ ಅವ್ರು ನಿಮ್ಮನ್ನ ಏನ್ ಕೇಳ್ತಾರೆ ಈ ಮೂವತ್ತು ಪೇಜ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಯಾವ ಯಾವ ಪೇಜ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಎಷ್ಟು ಎಷ್ಟು ಮಿಸ್ಟೇಕ್ಸ್ ಇದೆ ಹಾಗಾಗಿ ಝೀರೋ ಮಿಸ್ಟೇಕ್ಸ್ ಇರುವಂತ ಟೋಟಲ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಆಫ್ ಪೇಜಸ್ ಎಷ್ಟು ಈ ತರ್ಟಿ ಪೇಜಸ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಅದೇ ರೀತಿ ಫೈವ್ ಮಿಸ್ಟೇಕ್ಸ್ ಇರುವಂತ ಪೇಜಸ್ ಎಷ್ಟಿದೆ ಓವರ್ ಆಲ್ ಇ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ತರ್ಟಿ ಪೇಜಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಬುಕ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಸೊ ಹಾಗಾಗಿ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ನಾವು ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಅನ್ನೋ ವೇರಿಯಬಲ್ ಕನ್ಸಿಡರ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ರೆ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ನಥಿಂಗ್ ಬಟ್ ದ ಪ್ರಿಂಟಿಂಗ್ ಮಿಸ್ಟೇಕ್ಸ್ ನಮಗೆ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಝೀರೋ ಇಂದ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ವರೆಗೂ ವೇರಿ ಆಗ್ಬೋದು ಫಾರ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ರೆಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ದ ಪ್ರಿಂಟಿಂಗ್ ಮಿಸ್ಟೇಕ್ಸ್ in a disc is a discrete series variable previous problem al nodidvi x was an individual variable hagagi illi this is a discrete variable because the mistakes could be 0 it could be 1 it could be 2 3 it can go up to 6 hence we have totally how many classes we have seven classes therefore each class comprising a single value Seven classes hege. Seven classes are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. First class, second class, third, fourth, fifth, sixth and seven. Totally there are seven classes. Now let us identify uh, how many pages are there with how many mistakes we want? Zero mistakes. So number of pages with zero mistakes. So let us identify that. So zeros are 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So this is called as tally mark. This is called as tally marks. 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So totally there are how many mistakes? There are 5 pages with zero mistakes now total number of pages wherein the number of mistakes is exactly one let us look into the data here in already one is a one two three four and five so in lo saha the total number of mistakes which has exactly equal to 1 is 5. 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So, when you look into the frequency, there are how many pages? 5 pages which has exactly 1 mistake. Now, going to the next category, wherein the printing mistake should be exactly equal to 2. We have to find out how many number of pages have exactly 2 mistakes each. So, when we look into the data here again, it is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. So, total number of printing mistakes 2, 
there are total number of how many pages 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 so there are totally 6 pages with exactly 2 printing mistakes Sim similarly let us look into number of pages with exactly 3 printing mistakes so 3 printing mistakes 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 so totally there are again how many mistakes so with 3 mistakes there are exactly how many pages 6 pages now proceeding to the next one total number of mistakes should be exactly equal to 4 we have 1 2 3 4 so total number of pages with 4 mistakes is 1 2 3 and 4 next maximum of how many mistakes 5 mistakes it is 1 2 right we have only 2 pages with 5 mistakes totally how many pages 2 pages with how many mistakes exactly 5 mistakes and coming back to the six mistakes we have how many pages one and two so we have totally two pages with exactly six mistakes now let us count the total number of pages because the book question says in the first 30 pages of a statistics book so total number of pages should be exactly equal to how many it should be exactly equal to 30 so 5 plus 5 10 plus 6 16 plus 6 22 22 plus 4 26 plus 2 28 plus 2 30 so this is how a simple given information is transformed into a frequency distribution now i'll recap this is a discrete series because the variable A considers the printing mistakes which can vary from 0 to 6. Accordingly, we have framed the frequency distribution table, total number of printing mistakes, we have given the tally marks and we have considered the total frequency. So, this indicates out of 30 pages, there are only 2 pages with how many mistakes? Exactly 6 mistakes. And there are four pages with exactly four printing mistakes. And we have six pages with exactly three printing mistakes. And five pages with exactly one printing mistake. And five pages with zero printing mistakes. So this is how we frame a frequency distribution table for a discrete series. And the previous question we have seen the frequency distribution table for an individual series. In the next problem, let us look into how to construct a frequency distribution table for a continuous series. Well, dear students, uh, we have solved two questions now. So, let us recap the various concepts that we have covered. Well, we have looked into the individual series and discrete series and in the next session let us discuss about continuous series problem coming to the tables on the basis of coverage we classify tables into four categories namely simple table complex table two-way table three-way table and manifold table out of this on the basis of individual series and discrete series we have formed a simple table or a one-way table. So later on in the coming sessions, we will look into uh, complex tables, two-way tables, three-way tables, as well as manifold tables. So that's all for this session. I hope you all have understood all the concepts with complete clarity. Atmiya Vidya Tigle, Nimge e session in a yellow concept so Arthagidanta unkondidini Illige e session no Muktaya Gute. Thank you.
my dear students